Hey, what's up, Studio World? This is your boy, Marcus Marshall, again from MEC Productions and iTracks Music Group. Um, I just wanted to do another quick tutorial on the MPC Renaissance or the MPC Studio, whichever one you're rocking, um, and uh, Studio One. Um, this video is actually going to be exporting uh, your samples. A lot of people have been asking from my previous videos, what's my workflow as far as exporting um, all my samples or all my um, uh, sequence tracks out of the MPC into Studio One. Um, so I'm going to do just a quick tutorial and show you exactly how to do that um, the first thing right now I actually have a sequence um, on this one this is actually a little smaller than some of my other um, uh, sequence tracks but um, it's a dubstep beat that I did um, it only has two tracks and as you can see um, each track has a number of uh, pads actually used per you know per track so I got a good uh, hefty uh, um, sample I mean you know bit of samples in here um, I'm going to let you hear it in a second, um, but first let me actually explain um, the MPC uh, software's um, version of exporting. When you export inside the studio, I'm not sorry, not in Studio One, inside MPC, um, in standalone mode, it gives you the option uh, to export uh, all your samples um, as audio files. Um, and it's not all samples, it's actually all tracks as audio files. Um, the track and definition for MPC is each program. So your all your programs, so this one program with all my 16 pads across all my different banks um, gets mixed down into one actual track. So if you go into the mixer here, um, this first track is my all my uh, uh, samples um, from that first program, and this is all my samples from my second program. Um, so exports in a stereo file, which is no good to me. Um, I, I can't do anything as far as mixing down each individual sound. So I want to get each individual sound on its own individual track. Um, so technically, what I would like MPC to do, or, or the guys at Akai, is to be able to export from this actual um, uh, layer right here, which is the program layer. Um, so, uh, you know, I put a feature request in. Hopefully you guys can go on the MPC uh, uh, threads and the forums and also vote for my uh, feature requests uh, because this will be more useful useful to me to be able to actually export each program um, uh, level. So each individual pad. So these are actual sounds from each pad versus the track which mixes down those programs. Um, so I'm going to tell you my workaround right now as far as getting, um, you know, getting what I need from it um, using Studio One. Um, so the first thing I do, uh, let's actually take a listen to the to the uh, to the track. All right, so that's the track there. So uh, now I'm ready to, you know, uh, work with all my instruments. I normally work with a lot of my instruments with inside Studio One, um, you know. So I'm loading up virtual instruments and actually playing to this sequence. Um, so uh, first, what I actually need to do in the MPC program, I need to export this as MIDI. Um, so I'm going to go to File and Export and Export as MIDI file. And, and first thing, what I would recommend you guys do because I've already done this, I have made a copy of my actual MPC program, I mean, or my sequence itself. So save it as a totally different, um, you know, uh, session before you do this so you don't actually lose your sequence. And I'll show you why this is important later. Um, so after you do your save, uh, save your project as and save it as like, you know, for export. So um, this particular track I call I Don't Care. Um, it, um, and I'm, you know, so I save that and then, I, then I'm saving a demo version to actually show you guys how to do this export, but still save your second copy. Um, so now I'm going to go to export and go to save as MIDI file and I'm going to tell it where I want to name it. So, um, I'm just going to name this here. I'm going to say, uh, MPC export demo dot MIDI. And this is going to be in my MPC folder. I'm going to hit save. All right, give me one second. I'm just grabbing my file here. Sorry, I'm just going to pull this over here real quick just so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm just trying to find my actual MIDI file. Oh, that's not it. That's 140. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. I'm in the wrong one. All right, here we go. Export demo. Um, so this is my MIDI file, and literally what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take this MIDI file and just dump it right into Studio One. So there we go.
All right, so I can move this out of the way. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and close this for a second and just look at what we have here. Um, I have two actual MIDI channels here. Um, the one good thing that Akai did was, um, or I don't know if Akai did this or, or uh, Studio One, when I first did this a couple versions ago for the NPC software, um, it didn't quite work like this, um, and I'm glad they made this fix. But now every MIDI track is associated to a um, a track in your MPC program. So this is track one, this is track two. Um, so once you get your MIDI clip imported, uh, you want to assign this to your NPC, both of them, and then you want to create channels. So this is going to be channel one, and this is going to be channel two. All right, before I play this, I'm going to go into the NPC, and I'm going to take all of my files here, and someone may know an easier way of doing this, but I'm just going to go ahead and highlight all of these, and I'm going to delete um, my programs. Then I'm going to go to track two and do the same thing. So all my sequence um, notes, hope oh, I left some in there somewhere. All my sequence notes are gonna be out of there. So it doesn't play twice. Um, and you get this loud distorted um, noise. Um, so now if we play from Personas Studio One, it's actually coming from there. So now, now the MIDI notes in Studio One is triggering my MPC software, verse, vice versa, um, you know, where uh, the MPC was triggering the sounds um, from its own, own sequencer. So now the sequencer in Studio One is triggering off the sounds in my MPC. Um, so now uh, let's close the MPC plugin one more time. Oops, here we go. All right. Um, so. Now, after I have everything assigned MIDI channel wise, I'm going to go and split these MIDI notes apart. So every last single MIDI note is on its own track. So if you go here to uh, instrument parts, um, Studio One has a feature called Explode Pitches to Track. And Explode Pitches to Track allows you to take each note and put it on its own individual um, track, MIDI track or instrument track. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, as you can see, each one of my notes retained its MIDI programming as far as the channel goes. So I have all those notes here and I can play it again. All right, so um, now once that's done, I'm just going to select all these tracks. Oops, I'm sorry. I should have actually hit shift. So now I selected all those tracks. And now this is a really, really dope feature that Persona's added to Studio One within the um, 2.5 um, version. Um, and the feature is called Transform. Um, and you're able to transform your MIDI tracks to audio tracks. I mean, then after you transform them to audio tracks, you can transform them back to MIDI tracks. Um, so this is how I actually use Studio One to export all my individual sounds. Now I'm going to go to Transport Audio Track, and I'm not really going to get into these settings because that's what not, I mean. That's not what this tutorial is for. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK. But please feel free to read the manual, um, find another tutorial, and they can explain um, these settings a little further. Um, so now I'm just going to hit OK, and all my tracks are now being exported to audio sounds or audio tracks. So now these are all audio tracks.
So there you have it. Using M, I mean, using Studio One to export all your drum samples um, out of the MPC, all individual tracks. There you have it. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me. Um, please like this video. Please post it. Um, send me your requests. If you have any requests for any other features that you would like to know about or any type of workflows, please uh, feel free. Uh, my website is www.mec. P R O S O U N D dot com. That's M E C Pro Sound dot com. Um, you can also get me on Facebook and Twitter. Um, my Twitter handle is at M E C Audio. Um, find me on Instagram at M E C Audio. Um, besides that, man, keep sharing these videos and uh, feel free to uh, make some dope music with these uh, new features. Thanks. Bye.